I'm going to tell you how Spider-Man came into being. It's, it's a true story, although sometimes it's hard even for me to believe it. But um, we had already done the Fantastic Four and I think maybe the X-Men, I can't remember the order, but my publisher came to me and he said, Stan, I want you to come up with another superhero. So I said, okay, and I went home and when my publisher said do something, I'd better do it because I wanted to keep my job. I thought, what can I come up with now? And the most important thing in a superhero at first is the superpower. Once you get that, everything else comes along. So I thought, what power will I give a new guy? And I saw a fly crawling on the wall. And I said, hey, if I could get a superhero that could stick to walls and crawl on them, man, that would be cool. And th no, I'm lying to you. I don't think the word cool was in use then. I, prob I probably said it'll be groovy. <laughs> I'll never lie to you. So I thought that was good. Now I needed a name. So I said, well, let's see, Fly Man, Mosquito Man. I got down to Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It just sounded dramatic. So okay, I had my hero, I had his power, his name, and then I figured just for fun, I'm gonna give him personal problems. And I, then I thought I'd make him a teenager because there were no teenage superheroes that I knew of at the time. So armed with all that wonderful material, those great ideas, I ran into my publisher's office and I told him. I'm slowly drifting to you.